Hi, okay, I'm going to start my five minute um, mom makeup routine. I am going to link all of the products below because it's kind of hard for me to show every single one of them um, and try and get this done as fast as possible. So um, I'm going to, my face is primed and moisturized. Um, so I'll also link what I like for primers and moisturizers below. Um, I start off with the Hourglass Vanishing Stick Foundation. Um, to me, it is just fast and it's easy and you can make it as full coverage or not full coverage as you want. Um, I always bring it down on my neck. It's a little bit darker than my skin color right now just because... Once I do the concealer part um, and bronzer and I kind of blend it all out, it blends together. And I typically like to self-tan a lot. I'm not self-tanned right now, um, but when I am, it then matches perfectly. So I use this Real Techniques brush and I do small um, circular motions and then also kind of downward strokes depending on what part of the face I'm working on and the biggest thing is to just blend, 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 blend. These brushes are super affordable, um, so I recommend them most definitely. Okay, foundation's done. Next, I like to use... Um, this Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick as my kind of contour. It's it's not fully a contour. It's almost more of like a cream bronzer. That's sort of how I use it um, because I like to just add a little bit of life to my face. There are cream contour sticks that you can use, but I just find that foundation sticks in just maybe two shades darker tend to be more creamier and they tend to just blend out better and um my little sister always wants to know how i get my face to be like multiple colors like dimensional and not just flat and to me this is the quickest way to do it um and as a mom you gotta work fast so it already kind of makes a change so so fast just with those two steps and same thing I kind of bring that down on my neck next I like to use um, this Maybelline age rewind concealer um, it is so fast and you just kind of pump it up and um, has this little spongy applicator which also makes it work super quickly And then I use my beauty blender to blend out. A damp one is by far the best. That is 100% my tip. Okay, now that we're done with creams, we gotta set everything with powder. So I'm using the Makeup Forever HD um, setting powder in just kind of a small brush and I go follow um, all of the light parts of your face. I just kind of take a little bit of this, almost what's in the pan, um, not like adding any more product to it because then you'll kind of get that like white cast, um, almost chalky look, we don't want that. Um, so then setting all the normal parts of my face, I use um, Charlotte Tilbury powder and I know, I know that this is expensive but I have had it, if you use it in this way, I'm also using a Real Techniques um, powder brush for this. If you use it in this way, you can really use it for a long time and it just gives your face such good coverage and it makes everything look so soft. Um, okay, next I'm using a Sephora brush. I will link obviously below. And this um, Kylie Cosmetics Chloe, um, it was like the collaboration that she did with Chloe. And I'm using the bronzer to follow over my uh, contour spots. So kind of all of the outside of the face. I like to be bronzed. That's just me. It's totally personal preference. 
Um, like I said, I'm bringing this down to blend everything together. Follow a little bit on the nose. Make sure the forehead, I get into that hairline pretty well. And then using the same uh, brush, I just kind of dab into that blush. Make the little smile face. And then I use a fan brush next and dip into the highlighter. And go ahead and highlight the high points of the face. Then using the exact same palette, I'm using just a fluffy brush and I simply take the bronzer and just rub it, uh, blend it into my crease. I feel like I almost always wear eyeshadow in some, in some way, even if it's super fast makeup job. And um, this just gives you a little definition. Um, it almost is like darker here then it's not, you're clearly not putting it on your brow bone, so that almost gives you a highlight even without putting a highlight there. Um, and I think it's just easy. Next is brows. I use brow gel first. I know this is kind of backwards of what most people do, but to me, it makes the whole process just faster. So I brush all of my brow hairs up. Most definitely having your brows trimmed helps um, in that regard because if your brows are all crazy, then it kind of makes it harder. So make sure you have your brows like trimmed, waxed, um, all of that. So then you just kind of are brushing it up. I'm still going to go back and uh, put powder in them. But right now I'm just kind of letting that brow gel set. So I'm going to go move on to my lips. Uh, and I am using this NYX uh, lipstick. It's super creamy and comfortable to wear. And then over the top of it, I'm going to use, uh oh, I'm going to use um, this um, Maybelline Baby Lips, Baby Lips, Baby Lips um, Gloss. It's like a glossy kind of stick, and I've been wearing this like every day because look how easy that is, and it's so comfortable. Um, it's definitely not kiss proof or anything. So now once my brows are, or once my uh, gel has set, I go in with my, I, I really like to use the Brow Wiz. Um, it just has a small pencil. It's hard for me to talk and do this one at the same time. So using small strokes, I just um, fill in the shape of the brow using, I just, kind of try and create like that hair like stroke and for everyday makeup you don't want your brows to be intense so you know light hand make sure those I kind of like to outline the bottom fill in that arch And then I go back in if I need to with my little spoolie brush on the other side just to kind of soften those edges. Now I am going to curl my lashes. I always curl my lashes. Um, I guess if you have curly lashes on your own, you don't have to. But to me, this really helps um, make you look just, you know, a little bit more put together. Then mascara. Okay, so there you have it. That is my five minute, which I swear to you, if you do this on your own, it'll only take you five minutes. It takes me way longer to talk through things. Um, but I feel like it's good for running around, and this is kind of my base makeup almost. Um, I build on it from here, and so if y'all wanna see more videos, then this is kind of a good starting place, um, and then we'll get, you know, a little bit more advanced as we go. So I hope that you enjoyed and that you can um, rec recreate this look on your own. Thanks so much. Bye.